Hi everybody, I just received this package from Viewer and it contains their new multi-process welder called MIG-250. And before opening up this box, I just need to clarify that yes, I was sent this welder free of charge and Viewer did ask me to do a review of it, but that's it. All the opinions I express in this video are mine and mine only. All right, let's open up this box. Would you look at that? A personal note. Dear Heavy Metal Parking Spot, that's me. Please accept this small token of appreciation for your hard work on your shopper. It looks super rad. Well, thank you. Anyone not subscribing to your channel are missing out big time on what will probably be the gnarliest savage shopper ever built. Keep on rocking in the free world, best Vivor. <laughs> wow, that was a really, really nice note. That was totally real and 100% not written by me. Let's move on. You know what I think we will do? I will unbox all this and I will set up the welder and I will do some welding. Then I will get back to you in a few days and let you know how it went. So I'll see you in a few days. Well for you it would actually just be a second. Sounds good? Alright. A few days has passed. I have done some welding and I'm finally ready to talk about it. But before I do that, I would like to mention that I am in no way a professional welder. In fact, let me show you the only two welders I have any previous experience with. It's this Parkside Fluxcore welder and this Tailwind stick welder. But now let's talk about this welder. When watching this, keep in mind that this welder is only 279 euros or 303 dollars with free shipping from the Vivo webshop. And if you feel like you want to get one for yourself, I will have links down in the description together with a promo code to give you a little discount. Okay now, this is a multi-process machine. It supports MMA or stick welding, MIG with and without gas and lift arc TIG. You will also get some extra things in the box. A gas hose that seems to be of decent quality, together with four hose clamps that function as they should. A ground clamp with two meters of wire that seems pretty solid. And it comes with this standard connector, so it should be no problem to switch it for another one if you feel like, or if this one breaks. You get this slag hammer and brush. It's not the best one I've seen, but I don't really mind because you probably won't use it anyways. And talking about things you won't use, you get these welding glasses. But they don't even cover your face, so needless to say, I didn't test these. I think I will get rid of these glasses and just use this case for something else. Because honestly, it looks pretty decent. I could totally see myself putting my sunglasses in here and throw it in my saddlebag. And lastly, you get this manual and it kind of feels like you won't use that either. It's full of bad translations, hard to understand instructions and even some straight up errors. So after you have read it, you should probably watch some welding tutorials on YouTube. I know I did. So. The first technique I tried was MMA or stick welding. The machine comes with this handle. It feels fine. Not the best one I see, but it gets the job done. It also uses this standard connector, so it would be easy to replace if you wanted to. Then all you need to add is the electrode. I'm using these ESAP OK3332. They're not a sponsor, I just like them. You set the current with this knob and it shows right there. Pretty nice. I'm not planning on using this machine for stick welding, so I only did a few quick welds just to make sure it works. I think they turn out fine. Any problems I had was me being bad at stick welding and not the machine. This is a clear pass in my book. The next thing I tried was MIG welding with flux core wire. That's what I've been mostly doing in the past. And it is a dirty sport, but it gets the job done when you don't have access to gas. You get everything you need in the box, even a roll of wire. That is a pretty nice touch. You can control the voltage and the wire speed. And you also have this quick feed button that is pretty handy when you are changing wire. And this is where you change the polarity for the gun. It even has these small icons that shows you that when you are not using gas, the gun should be negative. The machine supports 0.8 and 1mm wire. It comes with a 0.8 nozzle pre-installed and you also get two extra nozzles. In my box, both of them were 0.8 so no 1.0 was included. I'm not sure if it is supposed to be like that or if it was an error. You also get this tool to take the handle apart. The gun feels good to weld with and it seems to be a solid construction. 
and it connects with a connector like this. And as far as I understand, this is some kind of a standard. So you should be able to plug in another gun if you want to. I just did a couple of welds and the machine spits and spatters just like any other flux core machine. But it works fine, I have nothing to complain about. Alright, let's move on to the next technique, that is MIG welding with solid core wire. Or in other words, MIG with gas. This is where it starts to get really interesting and this is brand new territory for me. It comes with everything you can expect but it's missing three important components. The gas, the gas regulator and the wire. I ran argon because that is what I had and this bottle has a built-in regulator. And I also ran the ESAP OK Autorod 1251. And no, still not a sponsor. Here we can also see that the machine supports the big 5 kilo rolls. That is really nice. You use the same settings as for flux core, but you need to change this little connector right here. I did mess around with this quite a bit just to get the hang of the settings and the technique. And bear in mind that I have nothing to compare it to except for flux core wire, but I still think that this machine handles solid core MIG like a chef. And once again, I think the problem lays more in my lack of skills rather than the machine. With a little more practice, I'm confident that I will be able to produce beautiful MIG welds with this machine. All right, let's move on to TIG. Now we're getting to something really exciting and pretty terrifying. This machine is DC only, so no aluminum, and it's lift arc, so no high frequency start, but it's not scratch start either, so it's kind of a middle ground. Pretty common for these cheap multi-process machines. The torch has no switch and no way of connecting one, so it's always hot. But that actually turned out to be less of a problem than I thought. You get everything you need in the box, even though the manual actually states that you do not. You get a collet for both 1.6 and 2.4 and a number 6 gas cap. You also get this tiny back cap. For electrodes I'm running ESAB 1.6 gold and ESAB 1264 1.6 filler rod. And no, still not a sponsor, but ESAB if you are watching this. The only setting you can adjust on the machine is the current, so no controls for the gas flow. And that is because the gas isn't actually flowing through the machine. You connect the gas with an external hose that goes to this valve here on the torch. So this is how you control the gas flow. You get an adapter for the smaller hose, but I ended up not using that. I hooked it up straight to my quick connector on my bottle instead. But that is probably the only negative thing I have to say about this setup. Controlling the gas from this valve is a bit cumbersome. It would have been nice to have a solenoid controlled by a button or a pedal. The lack of buttons on the torch lead us to the next potential problem, the lift arc. But as I said earlier, it actually turned out to be less of a problem than I thought. This is me, holding a TIG torch for the first time in my life, trying to strike my first ever arc with this machine, and it just worked. I was actually really surprised. I thought it would be a terrible struggle, but it wasn't. And I'm not saying that I'm a natural talent on TIG welding, far from it. But at least the machine didn't fight me. I quickly moved on, probably too quickly, and I started to dab some filler and it worked fine. I also did a fusion weld with these two pieces of 1.2 mm sheet. I did try a fillet weld, but let's not talk about that. And once again, I have nothing to compare it to and I have only spent a few hours fiddling with this. But I'm impressed. It actually takes. So, I guess it's time for the verdict. I think the question about if this machine really does TIG, MIG and MMA has been answered already. But to be clear, yes. Yes, it does indeed. But should you buy this machine? Well, 
I guess that depends. Are you getting this machine to only do TIG? Then I guess it's your budget that decides. If you can find the money for a machine that has high frequency start and maybe even AC, I think go for that machine instead. But if the budget is tight and you want to be able to run other processes as well, then I think this machine is a really good option. And if you want to do mostly MIG but the occasional TIG, then I think this machine is perfect. But still, if you want to do mostly TIG and the occasional MIG and your budget is tight, I think you will be happy with this machine. I constantly have to remind myself about the price of this thing. It's just really affordable and a great way to get started. Personally, I know that this machine will raise the bar of what I will be able to create in this tiny garage. I'm super happy to have it and I get really excited when I think about all the things I will make with it. If you want to follow me and my new welder on our journey to greatness, you are always welcome to subscribe. And if you want to watch me making a mess with my flux core welder on my poor old motorcycle, I have a bunch of those videos already on my channel. And if you found this video helpful, maybe hit that like button. And if you want to know more about this welder or maybe even get one for yourself, there will be links down in the description together with that discount promo code. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye! <clears throat>